What's going on guys? Got a new series coming at you. I thought I'd actually play a game from start to finish in a series and uh, take this one seriously. This is The Fall. I picked this up for like $1.50. It was like 84% off if you guys play um, Xbox. It was on the Xbox Marketplace. It was on sale. So let's hop right into this. I'm not entirely sure what I'm hopping into. The only thing I really know about is it's an astronaut. I don't really want to spoil much. I know a little bit more, but... I'd rather not. I'd rather not um give away too much. Hopefully, you guys could understand where I'm coming from there. Space, the final frontier. But that was like a flying dick or something. That was pretty weird. Uh uh. Oh shit. Fell out of orbit. The fall. Biomonitor inoperable. Pilot unresponsive. Life support functioning. Basic Mark 7 system access routed to ARID AI. Primary objective save my pilot. So, as you guys see, ARID Access came online. On suit logs. Mission parameters and location data not found. Okay. As you guys see, ARID came online and ARID controls our astronaut buddy here. Arid is the suit's autopilot. It controls Arid. Arid got knocked unconscious from the fall, hence the name of the game. And, um, yeah. I guess we, like, fell 50 meters underground. Examine these points, I guess. Threat level unknown. Weapon rendered inoperable from the impact. Consulting parameters. I will locate medical facilities. All we really got now is a flashlight. Oh, just read. Okay. Is there a jump option yet? Awesome. So, fireflies in space. There we go. Sounds good to me. But by the arm, the gripping mechanism is still operable. Smaller pile of damage synthetics. Many of these has been smashed beyond recognition. So I guess there's a bunch of robots that live down here and some shit destroyed it. A damage control pile for an old garbage chute. There must be another cavern below this one. Perhaps there's another way down. So I guess the only way out... The only way up is down. I know what that's trying to say. Bumper? Oh, here. That's how we do it. Nothing else so far. I'm trying to do like a quick search up and down. Somebody must have gotten crucified in space. Keep going. It's a little weird, you can't like switch. Okay, there you go, actually. It's power cell has burned out. So I'm guessing we have to find the power cell. Oh shit. What's this then? I require access to my onboard camouflage. Attempting internal activation. Is this the menu button? Is this the... This is what we have here.
Subsystem access requires authorization, but I may need these systems to safeguard my pilot. If I could find a way to bypass the lockout, I could override the access protocols myself. Mm-hmm. So, basically the situation here is, I'm guessing, she can't really get into the abilities for the suit that allow her to do what she needs to do, but for some reason... Okay. So it looks like we had to go back to this robot arm here. I want to cut out a lot of that, like, insane... Just nonsense that I had to go through to find out what was even going on here. I'm gonna assume we can use the robot arm like a boomerang and knock stuff over. No, I'm, I'm not thing that will happen but I'm hoping that I could do something with this where are we now did we win are we going back up Another robot guy. Alright, let's see. Let's see where we are. Who's that then? An old metal pan. I'm guessing that's going to be what I'm going to use to throw at the other stuff now. We're taking the elevator back down. Uh, what if there was something important up there? I think there was. Alright, whatever. I'll find it. We'll find it later. If we really need it. If it's 100% necessary, we'll go up and look for it. But as of now, we are arid and we are trying to take our pilot back to uh, Earth, I guess, it's from Earth. Let's hope it, whatever is inside of the suit is from Earth. Doesn't look like anything so far can be like... used with this thing, I mean like... I'm lost, I'm honestly lost. Alright guys, I know exactly what we did wrong here. The robot arm that we found the robot arm and a metal pen use the robot hand got the key card now we take the key card we go back to the elevator that we found holy shit that was that was like way too much just for the first part I mean, I can't imagine we actually have interaction with enemies and stuff. I mean, that's how it feels playing scary games, but I wouldn't consider this scary. Anything that's like not first person isn't scary to me, like any third person scary game. I'm sorry guys. And that... Just about wraps it up for part one. We're going to take a look-see inside of this for part two. So you guys better be ready for that. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Show some love and support. If you're new, subscribe and become a dude today. And uh, I'll see you guys in episode two.